Hi guys, so unfortunately we are leaving for the airport in a minute, which is really sad. Like, I don't know, I just, as I said in the, the last YouTube video I did on holiday, like, I'm just not a homebody, like, I would happily just stay not at home. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't say I'm particularly buzzing to go back, I've seen the weather at home is pretty horrendous, so definitely not something that I am overly joyful for, but, 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 I do love routine and I do love having a really solid routine. Um, so that is the one thing I am kind of looking forward to. And I am starting a cut, um, literally, well, I'll probably just start the Sunday we get back, like literally we get back at like 2 a.m. tonight. So, and that is Sunday morning technically. So I'll probably just start tomorrow. Um, I don't like that whole wait till Monday thing. Like wh why? <laughs> it makes no difference. If anything, start as soon as you can. If you're like looking to actually make a difference and actually see results as soon as possible. Like, why would you wait for a certain day of the week? Like, if you can start tomorrow, start tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm gonna do. I'm obviously gonna use my ebook, The Cutting Diaries, um, to navigate it, um, because, you know, it worked the first time, that's why I wrote the book, so it's definitely gonna work again. Um, this cut, actually, I just planned this. I planned this, like, a while ago anyway. I was gonna do this just as a little tidy up, like, where I've been kind of out of routine and, um, sorry, it's like windy and my hair keeps sticking to my face. Um, where I've been like a bit out of routine and stuff, where we moved house and then we didn't have a kitchen and like, you know, everything that like, I've just felt like my routine was just lacking and I just really wanted something to help like propel me back into one. Um, and also I have a trip at the end of July um, that I just wanted to feel really, really good for. But now I think there might actually be something else um, that might be just before that trip that I will be going on. Um, so that's even more motivation to just like get my shit together when I get home um, and I'm gonna really go for it like I mean like like I'm probably gonna put like 110% into this like more than I've ever done any other cut because um, I just want to get in and out of it like it's only five weeks that's not a very prolonged period of time like I know I can make great progress in five weeks but like I don't want to get to the end of the five weeks and be like oh like you could have done so much more like why didn't you um, and like like I said like you know I don't want the five weeks come to an end and then go away on these two things that I've got to go on and then come back and have to go back into a cut like I would just like to then just maintain for the rest of the summer so I'm just gonna really go for it for five weeks so if you see me just ticking boxes every single day <laughs> that's that's why um but yeah like I just wanted to do this little intro um for this video of like you know how I'm gonna get into it how I'm gonna plan it um and just kind of make a little list with you um like for my shopping and stuff so i've already ordered all our protein sources and um, they're coming on monday so that's already sorted and i love doing that because i hate going to the meat aisle in supermarkets like it's always so busy and like full of people and then you'll have to stand and you're like looking through all the different meats and then you buy it and then you get home cook it and it tastes rubbish and then it just makes the meal rubbish so i do like to you know just put that extra bit of effort into our protein sources because obviously both me and Travis are really into the gym and building muscle and stuff and sustaining muscles so having like good protein sources that we can rely on is really important for both of us so we do go that kind of extra mile to make sure that we have that um but like when I am cutting especially I like to just have a routine with my food like I like to pick a few meals and just rotate them like there is no point over complicating it so I'm just gonna do that again um I made a video on here called um like how to approach a fat loss journey and I spoke about that there like pick like three meals and just rinse and repeat um because like otherwise like you just leave like you're leaving a lot of room for error you're leaving a lot of room for like you know just not being sure I feel like um like I will experiment probably a bit more with dinners but to be honest I'm just ready to just like put my head down and just go for it like I'm not bothered about it feeling exciting like I don't really want it to feel exciting I just want it to feel like yeah like that hard work is like it's chipping away every single day um, so I'm just really gonna go for it. So for breakfast, I'm just gonna stick with breakfast cheesecake. That's what I've been having at home anyway recently. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. Um, so I'm gonna need Weetabix. I think I've already got some at home, but I'm gonna need more. Almond milk for the base. Uh, loads of Greek yogurt, 0% fat. Um, and then I think I'm gonna go for like Oreos on top, like crushed mini Oreos. And then I'll probably put raspberries on them as well. So that is breakfast, sorted. But I will just make loads of them, so easy peasy. And then for lunches, I've already like decided my meals because I always have ordered the meat. So um, I'm gonna do burrito bowls for lunch and uh, chicken Caesar pasta salad. So um, for the burrito bowls, I need lettuce, 
rice, potatoes. I'm going to alternate the carb sauce on those. So some days I'm going to do potatoes and some days I'm going to do rice. Um, so yeah, rice, potatoes, lettuce, cucumber I want and I want peppers. So that's what I want there and I want some cheese as well. And then the chicken Caesar pasta salad. I think I've already got pasta but I'm probably going to get some more. I think I might actually get macaroni because I like when I'm in a cut like having a lot to pick on. So macaroni works really well for that. So I'm going to do macaroni. Uh, I've already got Caesar dressing. I know that for a fact. I've got the chicken ordered. Um, I'll probably put lettuce in it as well. I'll probably, put, I'll probably put the same veg in it to be honest. Yeah, I probably just don't. That's just macaroni I think I need for that. I think I've actually got everything else. So that's the winner. Um, maybe some parmesan. Uh, so yeah, that's lunches, breakfast, dinners. I'm definitely going to do uh, the egg fried noodles that I do. Because they are literally so nice. So you need loads of noodles, eggs, uh, veg. I'm just going to put veggies because I like to be spontaneous and just pick them on the day. Whatever looks good in the supermarket. Um, yeah, and that's it. I've got the chicken, haven't I? So that's the easiest dinner ever. That's why I'm picking that. Um, and then other things I might need, like wraps, probably, uh, fruit, just in general. Uh, I'm going to need ham for Travis, eat lean cheese, uh, protein pudding for him as well. So yeah, I think that's like most things, to be honest. Uh, I think I have quite a lot of oats and stuff anyway. I'll have a look obviously when I get home before I actually go and buy all this. But I just wanted to kind of show you how I like plan that because I feel like, you know, a lot of people overcomplicate it. And a lot of people get really put off because I think they think like with healthy and like, oh, it costs so much money. But that's only if you're trying to cook something completely different every single day. Like, don't do that. <laughs> it's effort and it's expensive. Just pick a few meals for the week, rotate them. And then the next week, pick different ones. You're still getting the variation, but it's not going to cost you a fortune. And I just think that's one of the biggest mistakes people make. Like, they go and do, like, one food shop because they've planned, like, a different lunch, different breakfast, different dinner every single day. And then they're like, oh, it's too expensive. I'm just going to go back to eating rubbish. And it's like, you didn't even give it a proper chance. Like, that's not how it's going to go. So, yeah. Um, I am going to... I've already planned this. Like, I'm actually, I'm actually a bit buzzing to get into this, like, which is quite sad, but... Um, so I'm going to do 14k steps a day, I've decided, because um, I'd rather expend more energy than eat less. Um, I am going to do 100 minutes of cardio a week, um, but I might increase that depending on how that feels and how um, just like kind of everything goes. Um, but because I've been training a lot at home now, like going and doing cardio at the gym, like I have to like go out of my way to do it at different times, because obviously in the mornings I'm doing my weight sessions. So... Um, it's like sometimes a bit hard like to fit it in um, but I'm going to try to do 100 minutes a week uh, anyway so that's fine 14k steps a day 100 minutes cardio a week probably will increase it over like, I might start that the first week and then increase as the weeks go on and see how manageable it is I'm going to do two core sessions a week as well um, which I've been doing anyway for ages um, and yeah just like really just like dial in like weekends on track like I've got a few occasions like in the in the next five weeks um which are gonna be obviously a little bit of a kind of thing to navigate but what I'll just do is I'll just bank calories so like I'm very comfortable with that very aware of that um and yeah I'm just like I'm craving routine I'm craving like good food anyway like I'm not I know I'm not gonna get home and be like oh I wish I could have like a takeaway because I don't like it honestly I wish I could make a home cooked meal right now and eat it right now like that's how I feel right now so I'm super excited to just go and get stuck into it but I'm gonna take you along for the journey I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the ups and downs I'm also gonna get up at 5 a.m six days a week like some mornings where I have rest days I get up at like six ish but um I've already decided I'm getting up 5 a.m Monday to Saturday um I'm just gonna make most of it like if it's a day I'm not training I'm gonna go do some cardio I'm gonna go and um, get steps in, I'm gonna start work earlier. Like I'm just gonna really just like just make my routine so disciplined for the five weeks that like there isn't any room for error. The problem is if I'm getting up later, then I'm starting my steps later and I don't wanna spend my evenings on the walking pad or walking around like trying to finish those steps off. Like I just wanna get them done as early as possible. Um, and I know like if some days I do like 18K steps anyway, like just by coincidence. So. I know that as long as I keep my weekly average up, like I will average at least 14k a day if I really put the effort in. Um, so yeah, I'm just ready to really go for it to be honest. Um, 
but like I will I will probably weigh myself uh, when we get home um, maybe tomorrow obviously I have to bear in mind I'll be holding a lot of water attention so it won't be like a true representation really of what I weigh um, but like obviously I'm going into a cut so it will probably see a massive drop in the first week just from that water falling off so bear that in mind um, but yeah I'm excited like it's making me feel happy thinking about it because I know that I can put 100% in and I know that I will so um, it's just yeah it's like you just have to go into it with like a I want to get in and get out like the problem is with a lot of dieting is people they just they, they're too lenient on themselves so it goes on forever and it's like you don't want to be in a diet forever like just honestly head down lock in for a certain amount of time get out eat more but you know don't do as much cardio don't do as much steps like you've done the hard work but if you're not willing to do the hard work for you know be disciplined for like a certain amount of time then you can't expect to get those results then you can't expect to get in and out like you have to be realistic with yourself and i think that is the biggest problem in the fitness industry like there's like a there's a big victim mentality and i know a lot of people do talk about this nowadays like where people don't want to admit that they are the problem <laughs> and it's like sometimes you just have to say to yourself like right like come on like let's be honest could i have done more this week like what am i actually doing to self-sabotage like am i actually within my calories am i actually hitting my steps am i sometimes skipping my cardio if those questions come to the conclusion that yes you might you know not be doing everything as that's like as you're expecting to or as that's been set for you then you have to be willing to accept that yeah you're probably not going to get what you want <laughs> like and like once you kind of realize that it's like okay where's your oyster like go get it but the problem is like it would be like expecting say you're employed it would be like expecting to get full pay every month but you haven't turned up for half the month that's what it's like, like expecting to get fat loss results when you haven't even showed up half the days, you haven't even done, you know, your deficit most of the days, like, it's so easy to just, like, fuck yourself up in the process and just, and not want to admit it, um, but I find the, the people that do the best, and that's from my own self-experience of being a victim mentality, um, in, or in a victim mentality, and from clients as well, the people that do the best are the people that just go, oh, do you know what, like, Lily, no, I haven't been doing what I'm meant to be doing, but now I'm ready to. And then they just turn it around and then it's like skyrocket in terms of progress. So I'm really excited to just go home and just like talk to my clients a lot about what I'm doing as well. Cause I feel like that will not only inspire, but it will encourage. And when you feel like you're locked in with someone else, it's even better. And um, Travis is cutting as well. So it's literally gonna be like, our household is gonna be so easy. <laughs> um, no one come over, we're in a cut, like <laughs> no one bother us. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I'm super excited and I will catch up with you when I'm back in the UK. Hi guys, so we are back. I'm not happy to be back, not gonna lie. But it's Sunday. We got home at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. We pulled up outside. Um, and I think I woke up about 10, so like six hours sleep we're operating on. Um, if that, to be honest, because it was a pretty interrupted sleep. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm, I've unpacked, like, that took ages. It's almost 12 o'clock now, I think. That's 10 past 12. Um, I've got to go out for Father's Day, like, dinner at half four. Um, so, why is this so hard to open? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and train now. Um, I'm going easy on myself today because I've woken up so late, like, realistically, in the time frame I've got, I'm probably not going to be able to hit my steps today. Like, I'm going to be honest with myself. Um, so I'm just going to do what I can today, you know, be kind to myself, but I just want to move my body because it's because I was ill before we went away. I literally haven't trained in like a gym environment for like two weeks. Um, so I'm just going to go do a leg day. Probably not ridiculously heavy because I've not got much oomph behind me today, but I just want to get back to it, to be honest. And the worst thing you can do is wait for Monday. Like I hate, I hate when people say, oh, well, I was gonna get back on it, but I thought I'd just wait for Monday. It's like, why? Like, is, is Monday some sort of secret, like, like get back on track day? Like, no, like, just get back on track when you get home. Like, it just drags it out for no reason. And, you know, the sooner you get back on it, the sooner you feel better. So many people, when they get back from um, holiday, like, you know, the day after they get back, if it's still the weekend, or even if it's still the work day, actually, they'll order a takeaway because they're like, oh, well, I've got no food in the house. It's like, that's such a rubbish excuse. There are so many ways to get food in your house. Like I literally at the airport last night ordered Morrison's like Amazon grocery delivery, which will come today in hopefully about 45 minutes. 
Um, because I knew that, I didn't know what time I was gonna wake up today. So I was just like, you know, if I don't make the supermarket, cause they all close at four, don't they, on a Sunday. I was like, if I don't make the a supermarket, I don't want that to be an excuse for me to then be like, oh, well, I've got to order food. Cause I don't want to order food. I want to feel good. Um, so yeah, what we are doing is we are on the path to feeling good today. Um, I've just made a strawberry and lime ISO clear, which I'm excited to have. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go train. I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm just gonna take it easy, be kind to myself, put some good music on, see how it feels, um, and then go from there. But I'm excited. So the food shop just arrived. Honestly, why have I never done this before? That was the most like satisfying thing ever. <laughs> it just came in bags with like cool packs in as well. So like the cold stuff stayed cold. And we've literally got everything we need. Like, I honestly, I, I don't wanna hear the whole oh well, I got home really late from holiday and there was no food in the house like it took me five minutes at the airport last night to order this to come next day like it there is so many excuses that can be made but there's also so many ways around those excuses but some people just aren't willing to like admit the way around it but once you just become the type of person that goes all right yeah that could be a problem but I'm gonna make it not a problem and just sort it out then you start to make really good progress because you haven't got any excuses holding you back and this all looks perfect. So we are set for the week. Obviously the meat order is coming tomorrow. So, um, but I've got some meat in the freezer. So I've taken that out. So that's not a problem for today. <laughs> chose to make today a productive day like it could have been a total write-off and I could have just sat on the sofa all day feeling sorry for myself but I've made this happen and I can go into Monday feeling really refreshed really just ready for the week I don't have stress about food because I've got it all sorted and I'm just really looking forward to a good week guys hello this is my first time using the induction hop <laughs> and it just keeps making a funny noise and I don't know why like what does that mean it's getting hot, so we're gonna go with that. But yeah, this could be a bit amusing, a bit chaotic. I'm making my go-to egg fried stir fry um, with pulled chicken because I bought a chicken shredder, or shredded chicken maybe you call it. One of those things I've seen on Amazon and you like twist it and the chicken shreds. So yeah, we're making shredded chicken egg fried stir fry. And this is one of my absolute go-to meals when I'm on a cut. Like, it's so filling, so high volume, and it's so tasty. I'm sorry, like, totally off topic, but I could actually cry, like, that, that is my dining room. What the hell? Ignore that light, that still needs to go. <laughs> it's been here since we got here, but like, I can't believe, like we knocked this wall through from the kitchen, like that was closed off, so the kitchen was actually really small and like, just like enclosed. And now, cause that's knocked through, it's so open and big and like, it just feels amazing like to have all that room and to be able to like, talk to whoever's at the dining table, like it's just perfect. Right, I've never used one of these, so don't, tell me or please tell me if I'm doing it wrong oh that's really hard to use wow I just put the chicken in and then you just keep twirling it around and it spreads it up honestly this is a game changer if you don't like um like the texture of chicken when you reheat it because if you shred it it literally tastes so much better when you reheat it or if you don't reheat it if you just eat it cold 
what I'm going to do if this does turn out nice is I'm going to meal prep a load of chicken and shred it up and put it in the fridge because I would just eat this cold at like lunchtime or dinner time um, and that would be such a game changer so very impressed with this that is actually probably the best thing I've ever bought I think this was like 6 99 <laughs> The world is just amazing, isn't it? Like, there's just something for everything. But I used to shred my chicken with a fork, like two forks, and that's just done that that quickly. So, this, highly recommend. We're just going to ignore and forget the fact that I forgot to put the egg in that egg fried stir fry. So yeah, it's been a long, long day guys, like first proper day back. I've done like 17,000 steps because <laughs> I've been so busy. I got up at 5am, like I'm, yeah, I'm tired. But normally I put egg in them with the noodles, stir fry it and then serve it. So for future reference, do that. The cut is going so well. Honestly, it's only been like four days, but I feel so good. Like I feel so much better in my body already. Like my body's responding really well. I feel leaner, my clothes are fitting better. Like it's just, when you know how to cut, it honestly feels easy. Like I know that sounds really patronizing if you know, you're someone who struggled with it for a long time, but that's why I encourage you so much to invest in your knowledge and to learn because then if you ever need to do it in your whole lifetime in the future, you now know how, so you don't have to always guess or wonder or hope for the best. This, Instagram will have this recipe, okay? This is my Caesar potato salad. It is mini baby potatoes chopped up really small. I've actually used a little bit of pepperoni in this. Um, no, that's a lie, I used chorizo. I used some chorizo chopped up really small as well instead of bacon, because I'm not really a massive bacon fan. And um, I've got a chicken um, peri peri kebab on top as well for my protein and it's just got salad and then Caesar dressing and a bit of mayonnaise but it's absolutely stunning and it honestly keeps me so full up and satisfied I had it yesterday and I was like oh my god I have to make that again um but yeah it's just been a great week and I can't emphasize people enough like what routine does for you like it completely changes how I feel like as a person it changes how I feel like about my life and about my just goals and everything like when I have a routine and it's working and it's making me feel good, I feel like I can take on the world. So, <laughs> like, honestly, can't emphasize to you enough. If you don't have a routine, get one because it's unreal. And yeah, just like, I feel so good. And it's just crazy how that has all just stemmed from me putting my head down this week and just doing exactly what I said I was going to do. So, yeah, really happy with that. But I'm going to go and. That's my fork. I'm going to go and enjoy this. And I will catch up with you later. Hi guys. Honestly, all I can wonder is do I look as tired as I feel on this vlog? Probably. Because honestly, I don't think I've ever felt as tired as I do right this minute. Like, I'm, I'm shattered. My eyes feel like so heavy. Like, apologies for the way I look as well. Like, I've just woken up. So, yeah. But, I just wanted to uh, talk about, because basically... I only meal prepped my breakfast for Monday to Thursday because that was all I had enough um, yogurt for and fruit for at the time, um, which is fine because I actually like doing that just in case by Friday I fancy something different. Um, I actually don't really fancy something different today, but I'm going to make a deconstructed version of what I normally have. So I'm going to go Greek yogurt and then I'm going to have a Weetabix crumbled into it. Obviously, normally I use that for like the base of the cheesecake. So I'm gonna have the Greek yogurt, the Weetabix, and I'm actually gonna, um, I'm not gonna add protein powder to the yogurt this time because um, it's already really high in protein anyway, and I've literally just made myself an ISO clear and daily shake, so I don't really fancy um, any more protein powder right now. Um, but I'm gonna add the flavor powder as always, because I'm sorry, anyone who 
says Greek yogurt tastes nice on its own is lying. It does not. <laughs> like, it does not. Um, I do, you're crazy if you eat that on its own. Like, I just can't relate. But yeah, like, so I've used like 300 grams of Greek yogurt, which is only um, 165 calories. That's literally nothing. That's literally nothing. And, um, but it's 27 grams of protein. Like, that's so good. Like, can we just actually like think about that for a minute? 165 calories, almost 30 grams of protein. That's seriously good. And it's a lot as well, like a lot of food. Um, so I'm going to use the flavour powder in strawberry cheesecake, as always. This literally, a scoop of this, makes it taste so good, so sweet, that you'd never know it was just normal Greek yoghurt. But it only adds 9 calories, whereas adding protein powder to it, which is great, don't get me wrong, I do do that occasionally. But I like add it to like the full mixture, so like you, I probably only really add about 10 grams per like 10 grams of protein per cheesecake when I actually make like split it out and make them. Um, but the flavor powder just makes such a difference because when you add protein powder, like for example, if I added a scoop of protein powder now, yes, it would increase obviously the protein um, content of it, but I don't need to do that because I've got protein shake. Um, but it would also add like over 100 calories. So obviously if you are cutting and you are trying to be, you know, like a little bit kind of careful in that sense, then your flavor powder is like, that's, that's a no-brainer. Nine calories to make it taste like it's like a flavoured protein yogurt is literally a no-brainer. Like, why are people not catching on to that? And like, it's it's imagine like you add like a teaspoon of sugar or something into it, which yeah would probably be quite nice and sweet if you're a sweet girl like me. But it's not good for you. Whereas this is the equivalent. I'm pretty sure it actually says on it somewhere. So it's the equivalent of adding 50 grams of sugar to something, which would be 200 calories but this is only nine calories. Like, who designed that? <laughs> I would like to thank them. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna crush some of this Winter Bix into my yogurt bowl. Perfect. I, um, I don't actually have any fruit to add to this, which is really annoying. I, um, I have some melon, um, which I'll probably eat later, but I just, I don't know, melon and yogurt for me just doesn't do it. I don't know why. It's just not something I, I think goes in, in my my personal reference. Um, so yeah, I will probably add something later. Right, okay, so we got your Weetabix and your yogurt. So that's amazing. So we're sitting at 220 calories at the moment. And then I'm gonna add two Jaffa cakes crumbled up, so that's 95 calories. Um, so we're basically looking at um, like just over 300 calories for breakfast, which is so good. And then alongside my shake, um, which is, I'm pretty sure it's 102, um, you know, we're looking at like 400 odd calories for breakfast with like 50 grams of protein in total, if you're including the shake and the breakfast. So. I'm happy with that. That's going to keep me full and satisfied till lunchtime. Like, I won't be reaching for snacks. I won't be reaching for other food. Like, that is me, like, sorted. This is what we have created. It might not look, you know, ridiculously amazing, but it's going to taste good. And, you know, it's the protein. Like, when you're cutting, you need that protein. Like, it, it's going to keep you full up. Otherwise, you're going to eat something and then you're going to go, what can I eat next? And that's where we go wrong because then we start picking and, you know, grabbing things out the cupboard, having a little crisp out of packets already open and just saying to yourself, oh, it won't make a difference. It won't make a difference. If you do that more than once, trust me, it's making a difference. So try and actually think about what you're like taking in. Like don't just grab something. The biggest mistake people actually make is thinking, oh yeah, I'll just have like a little like you know, protein bar for breakfast, which may be like 150 calories, but it's only like 14 grams of protein. Yeah, that's great. That's gonna keep you full for about an hour, max. Whereas this, what I'm having right now, my 50 grams of protein and, you know, 400 and something calories, that's gonna keep me full until lunchtime. Like I'm talking like 12, one o'clock. Like, it, the difference is just crazy. So just try and plan, plan ahead, because it makes such a, like, just difference. and. It is, you know, it's good. So yeah, have a great day. 
I'm going to reform a Pilates again later, so I can't wait. But I am honestly, I, I'm very proud of myself this week because I did think I was going to come home and really struggle to stick with food because I thought like, you know, I've been on holiday, I've been quite lenient, I've been having whatever I fancy. And I thought I'd come home and be like, oh, I wish I could do that again, but I actually don't. Like I'm really enjoying just sticking to what I'm meant to be doing. And um, I think that, that says a lot. All right, I'm trying a recipe on TikTok. Um, that actually one of my clients, Molly, sent me last night because she said that she was obsessed with cinnamon buns and I was like, no, like, I'm obsessed with cinnamon buns. So, she sent it to me and now I'm making it because I've literally been thinking about it all night. Like, I probably would have had it for dinner if I didn't have to use the stuff up that we had for dinner because <laughs> it literally looks so good. So, we mash banana and then we add some oat. Some protein powder. I'm using typically in the recipe they use vanilla, but I'm using cinnamon cereal from ESM because to me that just makes a lot of sense. I always think like protein powder, like it kind of like replaces your flour, like the like with the consistency. Um, and I just think that's really helpful. Uh, and then we add some cinnamon. It's not actually this bit that excites me. It's the um, the topping like they basically she makes like a cinnamon brown sugar kind of like paste um to go on the top before she bakes it and then she makes a like cream cheese frosting and it, it just looks so nice like i'm honestly so excited so i just added some baking powder and cinnamon there i'm just gonna mix that with the banana all of that and then we have to add some greek yogurt because you never do anything wrong Oh, that's the oven, I think so, it's up to temperature. I've never actually used this oven and I'm a bit worried, but we'll see how it goes. Million percent. Right, let's make this paste. I'm not sure how good I am going to at making it, but I will give it a good go. Okay, I think I've aced it. I just added water really, really, really slowly. Because at first it was like a, I don't know, like a dough. <laughs> and I was like, oh, how am I going to put that on it? She did really cool patterns, but I'm just not very skilled like that, so I'm just gonna just like go with it. I did just taste it, and it was unreal, so if this is as nice as it looks. It's not even this I'm excited for, it is the top, like the frosting. Like, that just seems like such a good idea. If I add the cinnamon, she adds protein powder to her frosting, I guess, to make it sweet. Um, so I'm gonna add the cinnamon one, obviously. And yeah. Right, okay. I've already forgotten how long you meant to bake it for, but the oven is ready, so I'm gonna put it in and hope for the best. If this flops, I don't know what I'm having for breakfast today, but I am gonna try it nevertheless. That honestly looks insane and it smells ridiculous. Like she said, the, the smell that's gonna fill your home is gonna be incredible. And I just thought it was, she was just saying it, but no, I opened the oven and I was like, wow. I made the frosting, so what I did was I mixed the Greek yogurt and the Philadelphia and I then added uh, like a third of a scoop of protein powder because obviously it's just for the flavour, like I'm not trying to add 25 grams of protein to my icing. <laughs> um, but what I also did was I used the same spoon I'd used to mix the sugar thing. So it like has got like little speckles in it and like a little bit of like cinnamony kind of flavour. So. I'm excited. I don't know how to put this on because I feel like it's going to look rubbish, but yeah. <laughs> Literally made it look rubbish already. But it's the, the idea, isn't it, of just the fact that it's going to taste unreal. I think maybe it's be best to do like that. But like, if this actually tastes good, this is a, a breakthrough because I love cinnamon so much that I can't even quite put into words and I think how much I actually love it. <laughs> like I, I just cinnamon buns are just, they're my favorite thing in the world. Like genuinely, there's not much I love more than a cinnamon bun. And there we have it. Like you can't complain of that, can you? It's stunning. So it's really good. It is really good. Obviously it's not a cinnamon bun. Like it's not that close, but I'll, it is really tasty. Mm. 
Mm. It does taste like a cinnamon bun. Well, obviously not the same, but it's giving all the, the bits of a cinnamon bun. It's got the icing. It's got like the cinnamon sugary bit. It's obviously a baked oats texture, but it is really nice. So I think I might try it next week. I might meal prep it for the week. What do you think? Should I do it? Should I not? Should I stick to what I know? Breakfast cheesecake? I might make both and then I have the option. So my breakfast cheesecake will last and I could also have that like any other time of the day as well. I could have it as like a lunch with like a side, like a snack on the side. Like I might make both. I might make two of these two cheesecakes and just see how I feel and then on Friday I can decide what I want to commit to for the weekend. That's probably the best idea. But I've got all the ingredients to make this now so I might as well use them up. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. It's Saturday so, you know, I need to go up tomorrow so I need to edit it. Um, but yeah, it's been a really good week. Like I never thought, like if you asked me two years ago if I would have said that after a week of cutting, no, <laughs> just would not come out my mouth. But it has been a really, really good week. I'm very happy. Me and Travis are going on a Saturday walk. We had our steps in. It's not really sunny, not going like it keeps coming and going. But I've got the new timeless powder blue vest powder blue powder blue vest on which is so stunning like that color amazing and i've got it on with the effortless shorts so they are slightly different shades which everyone knows because they're different fabrics but yeah we need a all-in-one in this color just saying um but yeah i will catch up with you next week and thank you as always so much for watching <laughs>